Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Monday, July the 13th, and it's 10.13 a.m. Somebody sent me something in my email that's very interesting, and you need to hear about it. All right, let me click open my email. It's from, um, well, I'll just say one of our sisters in Christ. She said, good morning. I found this title in comments for the UAS, United Allied States. Then, perusing through it, the below. I wonder if this will be Antichrist heading the UAS. And I thought, well... It's not, I don't know what this is, but anyway, highlighted real big is the first presidential election will commence on July 30th, 2020. And I thought, okay, well, this is certainly not the United States. Who is the UAS? She says they sure are ready to take over the world, so they think. Or is this when they get to rule for one hour with the beast? Don't know, but look at the new flag. Let's watch for the election, see if it's announced. This is the first I've heard of it. Got more to check on that site to see where headquarters will be, or are, etc. Sharing now so you can do the same. And for prayers, love, and she put her name. Okay. Oh, oh, goodness. If someone just knocked on the door, Jasper, it's okay. It's all right. Okay, so then there's a link here to click on, which I have, and it's already opened. Hey. Hey. Come here, little one. Come here. You're being too noisy for such a little guy. Hey, Jasper, quiet, come here. All right, it takes you to uh, HTTPS slash slash, there's no www. It's UAS dot G-O-V-T dot agency slash, and I'm on the part about about us, about UAS. So it says slash about dash US slash. Okay, so I clicked on there's home, news and media, Congress, services, about UAS, media, and SEZ requests. Okay, so first thing I did was click on about UAS. United what did I call it? United Al Allied States? Uh, it's in here. Yeah, Allied. All right, the mission. Now listen to the mission. This sounds really good. The mission of the UAS is to preserve and protect individual rights and liberties by enabling free market activity by protecting the sanctity of life and by minimizing government taxation and regulation. Boy, howdy, this sounds great wherever it is. Listen up. The Economic Liberation. That's the title of this part. The UAS maintains laissez-faire, laissez-faire, market conditions that's like easy going such as low regulations and low taxes empowering businesses to not only grow but also innovate individuals and businesses pay zero zero that's a zero percent personal income tax and zero percent 
corporate tax, respectively. It's kind of weird to add the word respectively on there. But anyway, moving on. Regulation on industry is minimal and is only for the purpose of protecting the sanctity of life and liberty. Sounds like a wonderful place to live, doesn't it? Here's their vision. The vision of the UAS is the establishment of a worldwide sovereign nation of states, each offering its residents an unparalleled level of freedom and prosperity, utilizing principles that are proven to facilitate economic growth and foster the creation of wealth. The UAS will promote the values of individual freedoms, respect for human life, and free enterprise, all with the fierce determination to drastically impact the lives of not only its citizens, but its allies, partners with partners and the continent of Africa as a whole. Okay, now they start off saying the vision of the UAS is the establishment of a worldwide sovereign nation. Worldwide? Doesn't that sound like they mean to be like the whole world is going to be in on this? But then they end it with to drastically impact the lives of not only its citizens, but its allies, partners, and the continent of Africa as a whole. Prioritizing citizens. The United Allied States was founded on the belief that government institutions are only there to serve and protect their people. It is guided by the principles of preserving individual rights and liberty, by protecting life, and by promoting a free market enterprise that fuels small business. You know, this is entirely possible if the people at the top wanted it to be. I'll move on. Freedom down at the bottom, it says freedom and prosperity together. The United Allied States creates freedom and prosperity for its citizens by limiting government, reducing politics, and guaranteeing individual rights. Sounds pretty wonderful, doesn't it? Let me click on the section that says uh, Congress. I think it was under Congress. Okay, their, their, their seal, the seal of Congress has two, four, six, eight, nine stars on this side and eight stars on this side. Okay, let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, six. okay, eight and eight. I miscounted. There's eight stars on this side, eight stars on this side, and in the middle it says, for the people. And there's a big lion head. And under the lion head is, is like the um, partial um, pieces of wheat 
and then in the very middle you've got the five pointed star with the point up three bars coming under it and a red like on a red flag with star like lines coming out like to show star uh, the sun shining or something that kind of thing all right let me check my position yeah that's okay all right now Jasper you're very much disturbing me by licking my feet <laughs> jump down stop stop <laughs> My little dog looks like a little lamb now. I, um, I'll show you real quick. Real quick. He got trimmed. Can you see him? Yeah. Jasper, stand up. Yeah. Anyway, he looks like a little lamb now. <laughs> I was trimming his face, and he moved. <laughs> Very squirmy doggy. His mustache was so long and his beard was so long. I wanted to trim the mustache part and the beard part, you know, like up to here. And it was like, oh no, you know. <laughs> he ended up with nothing on in one part. And I had to make it the same and he ended up getting his whole head shaved almost. Cut short. Very, very short. So now I've got this fluffy body with this tiny looking head on it and it looked ridiculous so I trimmed his whole body it'll grow back in three or four weeks he'll be back to normal <laughs> but I was sure sick about it, it he looked so funny anyway <laughs> oh my hair is just fluffing all over isn't it anyway let's go on to there that was um the mission under the word congress is mission Congress passes laws that advance the UAS vision and objectives of being the freest and most prosperous nation on earth. The legislature also provides oversight of the implementation of these initiatives as well as advises the executive branch on politics executive appointments and treaties with governments and organizations. The goals. Members of Congress receive directives from the President and Executive Department. Departments drafts bills, pass appropriate laws, and conduct oversight over the implementation and enforcement of laws. All right, now, the authority, the authority is under the word authority. It says, members of the legislature nominate and elect the president. However, the legislative branch is headed by the executive branch. The Speaker of Congress is the top official and leads fellow members of Congress. It kind of sounds like how the United States of America started out, doesn't it? All right, now. Mr. Joseph Morello, Congressman. Mr. Joseph Morello is a business executive who has started several marketing and consulting firms based in Canada. He provides professional services in digital marketing, web development, application development, enterprise content management, and consulting. Okay, what I wanted to get to is who the interim president is. Where did I find that? Um, news and media? Let me see. I will find it. Yes. All right. June 25th, 2020. Arno Nilsson appointed as UAS Interim Attorney General. United Allied States is pleased to announce the designation of Mr. 
Arno Nilsson as interim attorney general in the Sovereign Territories Executive Department. He is an experienced lawyer based in Clarksdorf, South Africa, and will lead a Department of Justice whose day-to-day -day responsibilities include investigating crimes, defending the UAS from domestic and foreign threats, and representing the government in legal matters. And then it goes on to name other men who have been appointed. Uh, Jeff Coleman. They're all white men. And remember, this is in Africa. They don't look African. They must be South African. Who do we know that was, now that we know, born in South Africa? Used to be President of the United States. And we know he's going to be the Antichrist. So is this where he gets his start? Does he get elected as their president? It's just a question. You click on the link and read about it. See what you think. You might not care. We're not going to be here. Truly. People might start flocking to Africa. Plenty of land. Zero taxes. You can start your own business. They'll help you, sounds like to me. Read about it. Those who survive, if you can get away there, can start a new business. And who knows what their new president will do for them. just a thought. We'll call this one food for thought maybe. Anyway, I'm going to end it here and I hope it gave you something to think about. We wonder how is he going to come back into power. People keep asking me because they say, well, he can't be elected again. They just don't realize things are about to change. Things are about to change. For the wonderfulness, wonder, wonderfulness for some of us, a few, compared to the many. Unfortunately, most of the church is going to have to go through the seals. They are not ready. They have to be tried in the fire like we have been all our lives. Or maybe not all our lives, but at least last 10 years maybe. Some more. Well, anyway, I, uh, I'm not sure how to end this one. I'll plead the blood of Jesus over it. Seeing how, uh, I, I don't know where she got this link. I had not heard of these people. I had not heard of this. This is so new news to me. Has anybody else heard of this? I plead the blood of Jesus over myself, my computer, my internet connection, and over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.